it's your girl Naya and welcome to or welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video you guys today is gonna be a fun one today I'm coming out you guys with a little get ready with me plus a girl talk video I've always loved these videos I really loved it Cameron she made it a while back I might link hers in the description down below so you guys can see it I think I made a video just like this I think it was a get ready with me but it was a get ready with me plus a Q&A and this one is gonna be a get ready with me plus a girl talk it's kind of just gonna be random we're just gonna be vibing it out doing my makeup getting ready there is a few topics i'm gonna touch on in specifically like i want to touch on periods shaving hair and there was one more thing in particular i wanted to talk about but other than that we're kind of just vibing it out talking about you know girly stuff while i get ready so if you guys are ready before we get into this video don't forget to follow me on all my social medias as always which is tiktok and instagram and without further ado let's just get right into it so yes one of my nails oh Oh, it's stuck oh my god it got stuck on one of my flowers but yes one of my nails is broken it actually just broke like right before i started this video so yeah i'm gonna let my nail heal and probably glue it back on because this set has honestly been lasting me so cute anyways all right girlies i have my ipad here because i have a few things in my notes that i want to touch on in specifically and specifically in particular i don't even know if i'm saying that right but <laughs> I don't want to forget anything that I really wanted to talk about in this video and I did let my Instagram know that I was making this video but I only got like really one or two questions so I'm guessing it just wasn't up long enough like I didn't really give my followers friends or supporters enough time to ask anything but usually my polls on instagram don't really go as crazy as they used to like back when i used to post polls i would get like my question box would be like flooded but i really don't get as much questions anymore and i'm not sure why before i go in and do my eyebrows i do want to kind of like clean them up but i can't find my little eyebrow shaver but i think that maybe people are a little bit nervous okay because whatever you guys comment in my instagram box you're anonymous to everybody else i can see who you are but when i answer your question like you're anonymous if i do post your question on instagram your name will be anonymous and i really don't really like if i ever put the questions up on the screen I did start blocking out names just in case people don't like don't want their question like out there on the internet you know but I know there is a few girls who like know me and like they don't mind if I post their question with their name like exposed but yeah if you guys are worried about the whole name thing girl don't worry you can ask me anything and if it does go on my story your name will be anonymous so no worries how do you guys get your eyebrows done if you do get your eyebrows done do you wax or do you thread or are you like me and do you just like keep them maintained at home? Because I actually do used to get my eyebrows waxed. And my eyebrow lady was like, she was bomb. I got them done at a salon. I forgot her name. I think it was something with the, oh, it was Mina. I think her name was Mina. She was like, she was bomb. But okay, the thing was when I would get my eyebrows waxed, they would be like, basically i would break out every time i guess like i don't know it was like the wax kind of just irritated my skin i would always be so red and bumpy and like by the time my skin would finally go back to normal and by the time all those redness and bumps would go away it would be time to get them waxed again so it's like every time i got them waxed my skin will always be bumpy and breaking out and it just wasn't cute i don't know if i told you guys what we got i got a strawberry lemonade chilled from Popeyes so that's what we're sipping on I definitely would have got Duncan this is such like a sipping your coffee type of video but I, I don't know I just ended up being a lemonade so it is what it is but let's go ahead and get into our girly topics so since your girl is on her period as we speak I mean what other topic would be better to start off with other than periods so, you know, most girls kind of start their periods rather young. I know a lot of girls might not have, like, that lady figure in their life. And a lot of girls kind of come to YouTube and stuff like that to figure out, like, what to do, how to do it. Is this normal? Yeah, if you did start your period a little bit younger, girl, you're fine. I think my period started for the first time ever when I was, like, was it, like, 11 or 12? I think it was, like, 12. Like, my period started, like, really young. You guys want to know my story? Okay. 
I went to use the bathroom, right? Watching YouTube, like I was little. I was watching YouTube, everything. And next thing you know, I go to get up and I'm like, and I start crying. I'm like, I call my dad, I'm like, daddy, daddy. <laughs> I'm like, look, and she's like, oh you started your period and i just remember i'm just crying i'm like i'm too young for this i'm too young for this <laughs> like, i did not expect to go to the bathroom and expect it to start that day but yeah honestly if you did start your period a little bit younger girl you're fine usually you do get it quite young and some people don't get it till like they're like over 15 so it kind of just depends on your body but yeah so as far as periods let's talk about like products and everything like that so i will never recommend my girls tampons i will never recommend you guys tampons because so if you guys ever heard of like toxic shock syndrome apparently i did not know this but apparently it's not even a thing anymore i did not know that but apparently it's not a thing anymore but once upon a time it was a thing and basically the reason I will never recommend tampons is because of toxic shock, toxic shock syndrome and it's because of all the other issues that tampons can cause. Because if you think about it, your period is meant to come out. It's meant to, you know, naturally clean. It's like meant to happen every month. It's meant to come out. And if you stick a tampon up there, you're kind of just hurting your body. Like it's not going to be able to come out properly and in a healthy way if you have something like blocking where it should come out and if you just block all that to the point where nothing's really coming out then your body could possibly go into shock and you're just going to give yourself a lot of problems that I promise you you don't want. I will forever recommend pads and I know I can't get everybody to listen so if you are still going to continue to go the tampon route um, I know a lot of brands, what, like a year or two ago, it all started on TikTok. A lot of brands were getting called out for having chemicals in their feminine products. That was like the most craziest time on TikTok. So basically how I heard it was, if you ever open your pad and it has like a blue or purple lining, you shouldn't be using those pads because that's where like those chemicals or bleaches or dyes are basically like surfaced so you want to get your feminine products all natural or as natural as you can i don't use tampons i don't even know what i could recommend to you guys if you do use tampons because at one point the l brand i think that's from target the l brand was pretty much what all the girls who switched to natural products were getting they were getting the L brand tampons because they were supposed to be 100 percent natural then i know a little bit recently like somewhat towards the end of 2022 people started posting that the l brand actually is not all natural so basically just try to find yourself all natural tampons and that's the same with pads i actually got a new box of pads today i use the always pure cotton pads i either get the daytime or the nighttime box and i get a size five so me personally i get a size five because my period used to just be like wild like so heavy ridiculously heavy and i cannot stand leaking so the reason i like size five if you do have a problem with leaking i recommend you get what i get i do use the always pure cotton pads it doesn't have to be the always brands but make sure you get pure cotton pads and for me i get size five because they're long enough where they'll fit you right but they also are like they they're a little bit longer in the front and the back, so you can't really leak because it covers like everything front to back. And I thought my period has kind of calmed down a little bit, so today I was actually going to try to go down a size, like size 4. But I'm like, mm, maybe not yet. I'm just going to go ahead and get size 5 because since it is like the first day, you know, your period is still a little bit wild. So I'm like, yeah, let me just stick to size 5. But yeah, depending on your flow, that's how you would pick like what size you need. Like I said, my flow can be kind of crazy, so I prefer a size 5. I think once upon a time, I was only using like size 3, but girl, that didn't last long. So following up with periods, I know someone on Instagram had asked me, how do you maintain like terrible cramps? So luckily, 
I don't get cramps as much as I used to. Like, I'm cramping a little bit right now, but like, it's tolerable. I don't feel like I need to take like Tylenol or anything like that. But Lord knows, my cramps used to be deadly. So I will tell you guys like, you know, the typical tips and then I'll tell you guys something that was life changing. So if you do have, you know, really bad cramps, the most I can tell you is pain medicine, keep up on your water intake and a heating pad. My periods were really bad. I would take extra strength Tylenol or Motrin. Motrin worked the best for me back when I used to have really bad cramps. Motrin just kicked in a lot faster and it just felt stronger. And it was the children's Motrin. I don't know what, I think that's all we had. So I just took that one. So imagine like the relief I would have got if it was the adult one, but I actually took the children one and it just worked like magic so i recommend motrin or extra strength tylenol take that drink your water you want to keep up on your water intake especially because you want that medicine to kick in a lot of people don't realize how much water you actually need to take to activate whatever medicine you're taking like if you take your tylenol take like a sip and put the cup down what's that gonna do if you're not giving your body enough water to push that pill all the way down to activate the medicine make sure you drink enough water with whatever medicine you're taking i don't really recommend like advil i heard it's bad for your heart so i just prefer extra strength tylenol or motrin and i know i think about a year ago my doll and pamperin became a trend on tiktok i heard that's like amazing for cramps i never personally tried it but i heard it's amazing so you could try that as well now i'm gonna tell you guys what was life-changing for me so i have known nikia from vtox body for a long time now i think it's been, has it been a few years already girl it seems like it just mattered yesterday but i've known her for a long time now her feminine products have been a game changer you guys probably have always seen her clean coochie foam featured in my tiktoks it's an all-natural feminine wash it doesn't have any bad ingredients i recently tried out her herbal pads oh that's another thing i wanted to tell you guys about cramps and her herbal pads let me just say a few months ago i tried out her herbal pads and they were just game changers so basically her herbal pads are infused with ingredients that are good for the downstairs area like lavender i'll have her website linked in my description box and i'll include my coupon code so you guys can use my coupon code to get whatever you're getting a little bit cheaper but basically her herbal pads are infused with herbs and they just help so much and i honestly love going the natural way like instead of having to take a whole bunch of pain medicine every four hours changing out your pad with her herbal pads is gonna have you right i love her pads they're amazing and not only do her pads help with periods she provides herbs therefore you can v-steam at home if you guys don't know what a v-steam is basically you would order a pack of herbs you boil them over your stove top in a pot of course you would pour them over a bowl or if you have like the v-steaming what's it called like chair thingies you would pour them into that but i don't have one of those basically you would just pour your boiled herbs into a bowl and you would like squat down over the bowl and cover your body with a towel or a blanket and basically that steam going up there just cleans out your uterus and everything like that naturally and it just helps you have such a better healthier period iv steamed it was life-changing and it is not harmful there's no chemicals i mean it's literally herbs like you can't go wrong i absolutely loved it it was so relaxing just like sitting down with like the nice warm steam and then the results are just phenomenal and i don't even use that word like phenomenal girl but but no like the results are phenomenal and i can't recommend you anything better so Nakia does specialize in women's health. If you're in the Philly area, you can make an appointment with her at her Beehive and go get steamed in her office. But if not, you can order a pack of herbs and she is the sweetest person ever. And if you ever want to DM me first so I can let her know that like you're coming or like let her know that, hey, one of my supporters from YouTube seen my video and they're gonna message you about herbs, I can always let her know that she'll be expecting a message from you. 
but yes you guys after that one month of v-steaming the next month when my period came i had like no cramps such a health period like i was in shock i messaged her right away and i was like girl i don't know what you did but whatever you did it worked i need to wet my beauty blender but i can't find my little spray bottle i found it so the last thing I'm going to talk about with periods is hygiene and that's one of the most important parts because you know obviously you know when you want your period it don't, it don't smell good but it doesn't have to smell horrible if you're taking care of yourself. So this is the one time where I'll recommend two showers a day. I really take sh two showers a day more so in the summertime because obviously it's hot, you're sweating, I'm out a lot in the summer, so I'll take two showers a day more so in the summertime, but this is the one time where I'll recommend you take two showers because you want to prevent not having odor, you want to get rid of as much smell as you can, and if you wake up in the morning, brush your teeth, hop in the shower you're getting off all that nastiness from the night before and then after being out all day bleeding all day you come home you take another shower you're just keeping yourself clean and that goes for the same thing with your pads you want to make sure you're changing your pads frequently i hate how the boxes say like oh every three to four hours girl don't sit in the same pad for four hours but that again depends on your flow me personally i change my pad almost every time i go to the bathroom if there's only like a spot or two of course i'm not going to change it especially because my pads are a little bit longer so i have more room like it's not really going to get filled up super fast but I personally do change my just about every time I go to the bathroom unless it's like super light or more so like a spotting day then that's not necessary but again it kind of just depends on you depends on your flow I think that's just about everything I wanted to talk about with periods so y'all now let's talk about acne because lord knows your girl has been having some before we get into acne can we talk about today's makeup because i have no idea what i'm doing since this is a get ready with me you guys might be wondering like what i'm getting ready for i'm actually getting ready to film another youtube video it's gonna be a spring related video i know for my valentine's day video i did a valentine's day makeup look but i feel like with spring it gives me like pink purple blue vibes but I just don't have any ideas. I'm gonna look in my Sweetest Tea palette because this one has a lot of like super vibrant colors, probably perfect for what I'm going for. Like look at this purple right here, that's gorgeous. I just don't know what I would do with it. I'm gonna swatch this like shimmer shade up here. It's called So Cute. I wish I had like a silver, oh that's pretty. It's like a pinky color, can you guys see that? Oh, that's gorgeous. That is very pretty. I wish I could see, like, how pretty it looks. Um, but it's, it's so pretty. It's just not quite what I'm looking for. For this, if I do do purple, I need, like, silver on my lid. And I don't really want to pull out cosmetic glitters. I don't really want to do glitter today. But I just might because... I don't think I have any silver shimmers. I'm gonna check this other palette. All right, I'm gonna check this palette. It's the Free X something something palette. <laughs> um, what if I did this amethyst? Ooh, I could do this stargaze. That could work. All right, I think I I think I can pull something off. Acne. I don't know if y'all can really tell on camera. Y'all probably can up close. My face, I don't even know anymore. I have almost given up on skincare. Acne is normal. I never noticed. <laughs> I never noticed how insecure girls are about their acne. I mean, I guess it's reasonable, but like, girl, you're fine. Everybody's gonna get acne every once in a while, but. I've been feeling a little like, ooh, because I'm not used to my face being so red, so blemished, so broken out. I've always had pretty clear skin, 
but recently like ever since 2023 hit my skin has just been horrible i've tried cetaphil right now i've recently been using the cerave facial cleanser in the blue bottle it's really not doing anything. Then I tried the CeraVe Acne Control. I thought like that made my acne worse rather than better. So as far as acne, I think I would recommend to you guys Curology. Just because I haven't tried it yet, but I think I'm going to try that next. Just because they specialize in personalized skincare. So if you send them a picture of your skin tell them what your skin is like then they can customize you skincare for your needs so i'm thinking about trying curology next i think before i go into curology i want to try la roche posay one of my best friends uses that and i know she loves it so i kind of want to give it a try my skin has just been extremely dry but also oily also breaking out like i just have such combination skin it's ridiculous like oil will seep through my makeup or sometimes my makeup will be so kind of like patchy because my skin is so dry like i don't even know what to do so honestly if you guys have tips for me or a skincare brand for me let a girl know i was thinking about giving cerave one more shot and i was gonna try the cerave sa cleanser and if that doesn't work i'm just gonna completely be done with cetaphil and cerave because i pretty much tried everything from their line so i would move on to like a la roche posay and what did i say i wanted to use oh curology so that's kind of that i'm gonna do my eyes really quick off camera and then i'll come back all right guys i'm back we got these eyes done i do clean them up and add lashes towards the end but one more thing i wanted to say about acne i think that's where i left off one more thing i wanted to say is you want to make sure that you do your skincare day and night that is so important. I recommend you clean your face with the little silicone brushes. I get mine from like Walmart or Amazon. Like the one, they have like a little silicone holder and you can like pull it with your fingers and then like rush with those. I recommend those. Silicone don't really hold bacteria and that's just what has worked best for me. I'm gonna go in with my face makeup now. So I'm gonna prime my face with the e.l.f. Power Grip Primer. And while we're doing that, let's talk about, let's talk about shaving. Before I say anything, I mean, you don't have to shave if you don't want to. I know a lot of people force each other into doing it. Me personally, I don't like to be hairy. That's just me. I don't like to be hairy. I'm, I'm a be shaved girl. I'm gonna be shaved, but you do you. Whatever floats you better, honey. But, <laughs> shaving me personally i stopped shaving down there in my armpits a long time ago i switched to waxing and that has been the best choice i've ever made i would get the worst ingrowns ever it was horrible and like sometimes the ingrowns on my armpits would be so bad they would turn into like boils it was so bad so now I wax. I actually just waxed my armpits yesterday. So, so funny that we're talking about this because I just waxed my armpits yesterday. And then what I found works best for me, I trim down there completely bald with the bikini trimmer and then I wax my bikini line. That's the best way that works for me without getting any razor bumps or anything crazy like that. And then for shaving, I do shave my arms and legs. So I use, what do I use? The Venus Sensitive Razors. Those have been the best so far. I love them. They come in like three a pack they've been the best i also just shaved last night so that's funny that we're talking about that as well as far as shaving the best tips i can give you guys is make sure you always exfoliate if you don't want razor burn or any wrongs like i used to get you want to make sure you're exfoliating if you shave down there, I can recommend you again. We're gonna talk about Vitox Body real quick. She has a V Lux scrub. It's an intimate scrub. It does have really good ingredients, and it even has turmeric in it. So if you struggle from any darkness under your armpits or down there, like on your bikini line, any darkness, discoloration, hyperpigmentation, her scrub does really help. And I can confirm that my armpits has lightened up so much. 
her scrub works wonders and as far as like your legs and your arms of course i recommend tree hut scrubs you guys know i love my tree hut and by the way i'm about to go in with my maybelline super stay foundation in the shade warm sun wait this might be my winter shade i need my wait no wait no yes i do need my winter girl this acting exciting just happened because i just had like a whole blackout anyways yes always exfoliate with like a tree hut scrub or i know like onyx bath house has good scrubs but i will forever recommend tree hut especially with the spring coming up all the new scents that are out girl get you some tree hut and then always make sure to moisturize after me personally after i shave I like to go in with aloe vera baby oil after I shave because it's so soothing and it'll soothe if I ever like accidentally nick myself or went a little too rough in a spot and might have gave myself a little bit of razor burn. The aloe vera baby oil will calm that or any irritated skin I might have caused while shaving, the aloe vera will calm that. So I personally use the aloe vera baby oil and I think it's just like the, the Equate brand from Walmart. I'll put a picture up on the screen. So that's what I use after I shave and then I'll put whatever lotion I'm using on top. So those are like my little tips of shaving. If you do get razor burn or ingrowns easily like me, you could do what I do and use a sensitive razor. I have tried the 3D Silk sensitive razors. I've tried the Venus razors. I've tried the Joy razors. So far, I'm loving the Venus ones the best. So that's what I can recommend. And then if you do wax like me, girl, honestly, there's not even really any wax I can recommend because I'm still trying to find some wax for myself. At first, I loved the Trust Wellness Wax, but I have a whole different opinion on it now. If you guys have ever watched my empties videos, my hygiene empties videos, you would know that I always say something good about the Trust Wellness Wax, but I kind of have a different opinion on it now and I don't love it. I know a lot of people use the e EWC wax, the European Wax Center wax, I think. Uh, if you have a European wax center near you, I guess you could get it from there or you can order it off Amazon. But don't quote me. That's just what I heard. I don't know for sure. I know I'm looking at a little yellow, you guys. Just trust the process. I promise it'll balance out. So honestly, oh, you guys know what I also heard. Have you guys seen those videos trending where the girls would use like those roller wax sticks? I heard those are good too. I kind of want to try it, but I don't get it because like... How do you just roll that on your skin? Like, I guess it has to cool down. Like, I don't know how you won't, like, burn yourself while doing that. Like, how does it cool down? I don't know. I might have to try that, though. Yeah, I also recommend getting professionally waxed. I know a lot of girls are scared to do it, but I've never gotten professionally waxed, so I can't even, like, give too harsh an opinion, but I, I, I bet it's not that bad. Like, I would do it. I just haven't really found a waxer yet, but I would do it. I don't think it's gonna be that bad i know a lot of walmarts have opened up a like wax and lash um a wax and lash place and my place has them pretty cheap i think they offer like a brazilian plus armpits for like i think 50 dollars which i think is reasonable because i think most waxes like brazilians are like 50 on their own so the fact that they'll offer you both for 50 I think that's a good deal. But yes, all depends on you and where you want to go. And then one more thing I do want to mention is exactly like what to shave with. I don't really recommend shaving cream. I can't tell you the last time I've used shaving cream. I love the Tree Hut Shave Oils. They come in so many different scents. I love them. I have almost every single one. I think the only one I don't have is like the coconut lime one and i don't have the pomegranate one that they don't sell anymore in stores it's only like on amazon i don't have that one but other than those two i have like every single one i love this tree hut shave oils i will forever recommend the tree hut shave oils to shave with they have every scent if you like something like more perfumey you can get tropic glow if you like something fruity get watermelon if you like something minty get candy cane if you like something warm and gourmand get tahitian vanilla bean if you like something more kind of like fruity and what's the word like mm, like kind of like fruity and sour if that makes sense in the best way get coconut lime they have a scent 
for everybody. If you like something a little bit more simplistic and on the floral side, get Moroccan Rose. Love Tree Hut Shave Oils. Ever since I've gotten into Tree Hut, I have not used shaving cream. Tree Hut Shave Oils will forever be what I use. And the fact that they're a shave oil, of course, they're moisturizing. So they're giving your skin moisture as you shave. And then when you add your baby oil and your lotion, oh, when you add your baby oil and your lotion after shaving, your skin will just be so soft. Guys, my makeup looks really good today. Like, the coverage is amazing. It applied really well. So I'm going to go in with concealer really quick. I hate it, but it's the only one I have right now. And it's the Photo Focus Wet n Wild Concealer. I hate it. It's so like watery textured and it has like no coverage, but I mean, what can I do? But yeah, you guys, exfoliating, shaving with a good razor is all good tips. Just like a week ago, I forgot to exfoliate before I waxed my armpits and I got ingrowns. I have them as we speak. I still have them from like a week ago. That's why it's so important to exfoliate because when you exfoliate before you shave or you wax, you're loosening up those hair follicles. So since I forgot to exfoliate, obviously my skin had a little bit of a hard time and my hair follicles weren't really loosened up. Therefore, I got ingrowns. They hurt if they get really big and like, you know, kind of turn into a boil, they hurt. So you wanna make sure you're exfoliating never ever ever skip exfoliating and oh my god i shouldn't even have to say this but never ever ever shave dry don't you dare especially down there girl, girl you're just asking for trouble if you shave dry don't ever ever shave dry thank you for listening to my ted talk <laughs> <laughs> that's kind of what i wanted to touch on as far as like shaving and waxing sorry if i'm like bouncing around like one minute i'm talking about shaving then i go back to waxing then i go back to shaving it's because i don't know i don't really want this video to be like structured and like boom 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 like most of my videos are we're just vibing we're just talking it don't gotta be like in a specific order as if my sit down videos would be this is more so just like you know we're just vibing it out so it don't have to be perfect. This beauty blender, you guys, is perfect for blending under your eyes. It just has that perfect angle. It's the Wet n Wild Beauty Blender. I got it from Target. As far as my under eyes, I'm not going to do too much. I'm not going to bake today with my airspun like I normally would. I'm just going to go in with the Fit Me Matte Poreless Translucent Powder. And I'm going to take a little bit on that same beauty blender and just pat that right under my eyes. Just to set the concealer in place. Now I'm going to go in with my Creamed Contour by e.l.f. I guess this is more so like a chit chat get ready with me slash girl talk because those are like the main topics I wanted to touch on now I feel like we could just you know talk it out you guys I went to Walmart today because if you guys keep up with me on Instagram you would know like all the wax melt brands have came out with their like spring collection and I pretty much got everything from sensationals and then mainstays came out with their spring collection wax so I did get a few today I had to film a TikTok haul of them all right elf cream contour palette and i always just take this little brush to do it it's so cute little little mermaid <laughs> i know it's a mess i just mix these two colors together i kind of want to go really heavy on the contour because with these really pretty purple eyes i want to have like snatched cheeks to really bring this look to life so girl we're going heavy with the contour Okay, I just put it right below my cheekbone and do the same thing to the other side. I also have to do my hair. I mean, I'm not sure if I want to include it in this video quite yet because I feel like I've already been filming for so long, but we'll see. We might have to do a little jump cut. Like one minute you got messy hair, boom, one minute is cute, you know, a little jump cut. <laughs> but I'm gonna go ahead and blend out this contour. Speaking of hair, this is going to be the one of the last things I wanted to talk about. I've been wanting to try so many new hairstyles. So with spring and summer coming up, specifically summer, I want to have my hair braided up this summer. 
last summer i did my lace front but i just don't think it's worth the money in the summertime especially because i'm always like swimming and it's just like not worth it so i think i definitely want to go back to braids this summer i think i just stopped braiding my hair because i got tired of them i always had braids i just really wanted something different so I started doing my lace fronts, but I really do want to braid my hair up for the summer. I want to get um tribal braids, and then I know for sure I want to get these like bohemian braids. I think that's what they were called when I looked at the picture. So the only braids I can do, I can box braid, but that's it. I can't do feed-ins. Well, it's not that I can't. I just don't know how to do feed-ins. So I'm going to have to find a braiding girl for the summer. I have two in mind already sorry i'm trying to get my powder out of my vanity as far as today i really want to do like a half up half down type of look but i don't know if that's gonna happen so we'll see but i did contour i'm gonna set the contour with this powdered bronzer but yeah you guys what's your guys favorite hairstyle i love like the half up half down looks i also really love wand curls i'm gonna wand my hair today actually all right now i'm gonna set my whole face if i can find my powder i was looking for it earlier and i couldn't find it so hopefully i can find it now my powder is kind of missing i don't know where it could be i mean i only have four drawers there's not many places it could be all right, that's okay. I'm just gonna go back in with that powder bronzer. It's really light, so I could just use this to set my face. Oh, you guys know what I miss? I used to wear my natural hair when I was a little bit younger, and I would wear messy buns. It was the cutest thing ever. Oh my gosh, I miss it. But y'all, my natural hair is just so thick. Like, I, I can't do it. I can't do it. That's why I don't love wearing my natural hair because it's so thick and I just, I can't, I can't do it. Now I'm going to go with some blush. I'm going to use my e.l.f. blush palette per usual. I'm going to go with a mix of these two. Well, that's pretty. I love that. All right. For, um, that was a little too much for what's it called highlight since i have purple going on with my eyes i'm gonna do this pinky toned highlight so i'm gonna go with the wet and wild highlight in the shade blossom glow it's so glowy the camera won't even focus but it's like this pinky toned color you guys will see when i put it on I actually i'm gonna spray my face before i go in with the highlight so i'm gonna go ahead and set my face with the milani make it last okay Whew. now i'm gonna go with highlight let me find my highlighting brush oh that blush is pretty after i set my face i feel like it really started to pop okay i can't find my original highlighting brush so i'm just gonna use this other one which is right here okay. how pretty is that it's like a pinky purple tone so it just matches perfectly with this makeup look gotta put some on the nose can never skip the nose how pretty okay now for the lips what color is my i have not used my kylie lip kit yet oh it's not gonna match with this um i know i have i don't know because with purple eyes i feel like i can almost just do like a clear gloss I could just do a clear gloss and maybe line my lips. I think I do have a purple lipstick somewhere, but I that's going to just do too much. Because in this look particular, my eyes are like the main course and you don't want to take away from that. I know this is like a purplish liquid lipstick, but I think we're just going to do a clear gloss and line my lips. I have like a purple lip liner somewhere if I can find it. So this isn't the one I was looking for, but I can use this one. So I think I'm going to line my lips with this and then just do some clear gloss. And then the purple lip liner will kind of fade into the gloss just to give me like a little purple tint. Okay, so this is the NK lip pencil in the shade Dark Purple. 
I think I could pull it off. I think, don't quote me. <laughs> I got a little rough. <laughs> My top lip is so uneven. Ew, hold on. Okay, I'm just gonna put the lip gloss on and let's just hope that like it blends okay. I'm gonna go with my Essence lip gloss in the shade Crystal Clear. All right, I'm gonna touch up my top lip a little bit really quick because um, I kind of messed it up. <laughs> I'm just gonna take a super thin pencil brush and conceal around my top lip. It already looks better, now I'm gonna blend that out. I don't know how I feel about the dark purple lip liner just yet, but I'm gonna go ahead and do my hair really quick off camera because I feel like we have been here for a while and then I'll come back. All right, you guys, I'm officially done with my hair and makeup. That's pretty much it for this video. If I didn't cover any of the girly topics you guys might have wanted to hear about in today's video, you can always comment them down below and I can save your questions for next girl talk. But I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I hope you enjoyed chatting with me. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell so you get notification every time I post a new video. Leave me a comment, share this video with a friend, and I'll talk to you guys in my next one. Bye, guys.